Welcome back. It is 642 on your Wednesday morning. If you're in Trumbull County, you'll vote on a replacement levy next month for senior services. If it goes through, it would bring in an extra $1.2 million a year to help seniors. Diane Siskovic. Oh, I, I messed it up. I knew <laughs> we were talking about it, too. Siskovic. Jerkovic? Very good. All right, is here to tell us all about the details. I knew I was going to screw that up. I'm sorry. It's perfect. Thanks for coming. I expect it. <laughs> it's all for fun. All right, so uh, this would replace a levy that's already in place. So tell us about, uh, you know, the reason behind wanting to get this on the ballot. Well, we've had uh, uh, the levy since 2005. The first inception year was 2005, and it's passed favorably now five times, I'm sorry, 2005, 2010, 2015, 2020. Mm -hmm. We are operating with the same dollars that we did since 2005, same dollars, mm -hmm. but you know, oh, the cost knows. of life has risen, groceries, uh, gas, everything. Yeah. So we're asking for a replacement levy to bring in an extra $1.2 million for the services that we already do. And, uh, and I hear the, the, the waiting list is pretty extensive in terms of uh, people waiting uh, for at-home care. Tell us about that. So, as you know, baby boomers are the biggest part of the population, so we are at the peak of the um, population being 60 and over. So the demand is greater than the dollars available. So it's hard to promote that we have these services and then be told, but you're going to be on a waiting list and it might be a year. How challenging has that been as, the, as, as simply the, the, the number of people in this age bracket ha, has grown? Has grown, yes. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean because you're 60 you're going to need these services. Some people are healthier at the age of 60, healthy at the age of 90. Others might need the services right away. So it's been a challenge because we try to direct the dollars to those who have the greatest need, who mm -hmm. don't have the financial mm -hmm. ability to pay for this. If we didn't have this levy, think about this. If you needed somebody to come into your home to give you a bath, which is one of the services mm -hmm. that is done, it's called personal care, that's going to cost you $25 to $30 for that hour of service. You're going to need more than one bath a year. This levy um, currently costs a homeowner $18 per year. It now will be $28 per year. That's one bath. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> you know? I, 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 so. but it is a pretty minuscule difference in terms of of this with all the the number of people. Because how, how many more people can you be able to help than uh, you know with this extra million plus? It it may not even be enough money to meet the full waiting mm -hmm. list, but we're trying to do the best we can with the dollars and not go to the extreme of increasing the levy. Uh, millage. We decided to just do the replacement instead to bring in 1.2. We thought that bringing in the extra, I think it was going to be almost $4 million total that we would bring in if we would have increased the levy millage. Mm -hmm. And we didn't think we needed that much, but uh -huh. we're hoping that this is just a, a baby step to help meet that waiting list. Now, if uh, not, not to be Debbie Downer or anything, but if, if this would get voted no, I, I mean, the, the previous levy would still be in place, right? Yes. For, we, have, we have two more opportunities after this uh, May and next uh, general election to ask the voters to either just renew or if we decided to do a replacement attempt again. All right, but does, uh, like she said, just a pretty small increase uh, that could make a big difference for a lot of people in the community. Thank you so much for coming in. And sorry again for butchering no, your name. I love it. Oh, she loves it. I'm sweating bullets over here. Oh, well, if you need more info, by the way, leading up to Election Day, head to our website, WFMJ.com, or our 21 News app. Just click on the Decision 2024 tab. You can find all the interviews we've done on the morning show and elsewhere, some political panels as well, and other information leading up to Election Day. All right.